Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring. More on them later. Join me for some beautiful homemaking in today's video. We are setting the table, preparing for a major storm, cooking, and so much more. everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. Fall is nearly here and I have been playing around with decorations. I like to infuse seasonal decoration in our table settings and decor. In a future video, you'll see me switching out the dishes in the china cabinet, a rite of passage for every seasonal transition, but today I'm playing with linens, textures, and patterns as I set a festive fall table. I'm going to use this beautiful table runner and placemats from Huddleston. I like the hue of these linens because with their slightly matte red color, the shade is called Shibori Red, they can be used from fall all the way through winter and blend harmoniously with my seasonal decor. Huddleston is a small business with beautifully crafted table linens. These are 100% cotton, woven in Japan and sewn in California. I love their story. So I'm laying out the runner, the placemats, and the napkins here, and of course my go-to fall dishes are spode woodland. They are positively iconic for a fall table. I'm blending those with these French bee tumblers. I'm using a mixture of gold and silver napkin rings because I appear to be out of a full set for both. That's okay. I like to make do with what I have and not worry about everything matching so much. It's fun to play with the more whimsical aspects of table settings, so I'm making the napkins look like a giant girl's bow. I placed down a simple fall bouquet I picked up at the grocery store, and the table is complete. It is simple and casual, yet festive. This will be my go-to setting for cozy lunches or dinners this fall. And now a storm is in the forecast, so I need to batten down the hatches, so to speak, and bring all the cushions in from outside. There's something inherently cozy about preparing for a storm. Looking after your home, bringing the outside in, closing umbrellas so they don't fly away. I always worry about the wild animals, but I know that they are more than prepared and are probably getting ready behind the scenes too, as I am doing here. I've been reading a lot of Thoreau lately, and here's what he had to say about storms. 
take long walks in stormy weather or through deep snows in the fields and woods. If you would keep your spirits up, deal with brute nature, be cold and hungry and wary. Hmm. Thoreau always makes me think. I interpret what he's saying here like this. We should be present while going through a trial or a storm in our lives, that we should aim to confront and deal with it rather than run and despair. And it is in this where true power is gained. The storm is on its way, but first I'm going to take a minute to tell you about Ritual who have kindly sponsored this video. I've been taking Ritual for years. Their Essential for Women's 18 Plus Vitamin is a clinical backed multivitamin formulated with key high quality nutrients to help fill common dietary gaps. It's vegan friendly, non-GMO, project verified, gluten free, major allergen free without extras and artificial colorants. I find it easy and pleasurable to take due to the mint tab in the bottle, but I also trust this vitamin because the ingredients are made traceable so you know where they come from. Ritual goes above and beyond industry standards seeking the most rigorous certifications and testing every batch of products for heavy metals, microbes, and allergens. Ritual is delivered straight to your door too so you never have to worry about running low. Start a daily ritual that you can feel good about. Ritual is offering you all 30% off during your first month. Scan my QR code on the screen or visit ritual.com forward slash the daily C30 to start today. The storm has arrived and thankfully we brought everything in so I can just enjoy looking at it out the window. The night before, I knew that I'd want a cozy breakfast the next day, so I made some steel-cut oatmeal in the slow cooker. The ratio here is one cup of steel-cut oats to four cups of water and a pinch of salt. I cook it on low overnight and it's ready the next morning. I add some almond milk to the oats to make them creamy. Then comes the fun part, the toppings. I'm adding the pumpkin spice superfood mix today. This is a grain-free granola. I'll leave it down below. It has dates, nuts, pumpkin seeds, and I love the added treat of dried apples. Then I add some chopped bananas, some almond butter, and a sprinkle of cinnamon on top. What a perfect breakfast to have on a stormy morning. I like to also share fashion and style updates in these homemaking videos because this all encapsulates our lives at home. Last time I shared some bra recommendations and to continue the theme today I wanted to share some interesting undergarment discoveries. These shorts are by Thigh Society and are a cult favorite among many women. I've just discovered them. They aren't thick and constricting at all like traditional shapewear, but are rather comfortable and don't ride up. These are great for wearing under dresses or when you need a smooth appearance under your clothing and would like to remain comfortable and fully covered. I must say I like exploring these niche topics with you. I'll leave Thai Society down below. Finally, I'm going to make a hearty and old-fashioned autumnal meal for you now. Chicken and dumplings. I start by adding some butter to my La Crusade cook's oven allowing that to melt. And then I place a chopped onion in this and I saute it until it's soft. Then I add some flour, a few dried herbs, and some freshly chopped parsley.
To this, I add about two and a half cups of milk and one tablespoon Worcestershire sauce, and I stir until it's thickened. Then I add some cooked chopped chicken that I meal prepped the day before to make this easier. I then add some frozen vegetables too, along with some Parmesan cheese. I season it to taste, and I also added two bay leaves from our tree outside. I allow this to cook through for a few more minutes, then I take it off the heat. To make my biscuits, I combine one cup of flour with one tablespoon of sugar and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder and some salt. Then in a separate bowl, I combine three tablespoons of oil with a third cup of milk and some chopped parsley. I then combine the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients until a biscuit batter forms. I then drop this by spoonfuls on top of my chicken. I'm putting my La Creuset pan in the oven, but if you aren't using an oven safe dish, make sure you transfer it to one that can go in the oven. When it comes out, this is what it looks like. If you like more biscuits, you can double that recipe for those and they'll be larger. This is a very plain dish, but it's also very satisfying. My son loved it so much he had thirds, <laughs> so it hit the spot on a cool fall day for sure. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring. Ritual is offering you all 30% off during your first month. Scan my QR code on the screen or visit ritual.com forward slash the daily C30 to start today. Keep calm and remain classy everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Love, Jennifer.